Question number seven, M1, Mechanics 1, June 2010. June 2010. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's a mistake there. Cut and paste. June 2010, GCE, um, a question about particle on an inclined plane. I think it's statics. Point of, yes, it's not moving, it's statics. Just correct these ones, sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay, sorry about that. Now, <clears throat> a particle of mass 0 0.4 kilograms is held at rest on a fixed rough plane by a horizontal force of P newtons. Uh, the force acts in the vertical plane containing the line of greater slope of inclined plane which passes through the particle. The plane is inclined to the horizontal at an angle of alpha, where tan alpha equals three quarters as shown in figure two. The coefficient of friction between the particle and the plane is one third. Given that the particle is on the point of sliding up the plane, find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the plane, particle and the plane. Okay, there's a few things here. One of the things that is, is this. I like to draw my forces in this way. All right, so I'm going to call my P Newtons and draw on this side. I just prefer to draw it on the other side rather on, than on this side. And there's no difference between them, whichever way you do it. Okay, so I'm just going to, for my own purposes, just get rid of that from there. So it's exactly the same thing. It just makes it easier in terms of dealing with the angles and just visually makes it easier. That's all. Okay, so now... Um, here we have this angle therefore is alpha okay you have the force of the, the weight of this particle which is 0 0.4 g newtons that's the weight 0 0.4 g newtons um, you have the normal reaction forces which I think we have to find for the first part of the question that's R okay and you have the 0 0.4 newtons has gonna is gonna have a component down the plane and a component perpendicular to the plane. Okay, this angle here again is alpha, so this will be 0 0.4 g times into the angle cosine alpha, and this will be 0 0.4 g times sine of alpha. Okay, and it said it's um, it has friction, so and mu is one third. And it tells us that it's on the point of sliding up the plane. If it's on the point of sliding up the plane, friction is going to be acting down. If it's on the point of sliding up, then friction is acting down. So friction is acting down the plane. So this And it's on the point of sliding, so it's reached its maximum value, F max. Okay? And we know that the maximum value of friction is equal to mu times R. All right, so we've got to find the coefficient of friction between... So we've got to find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the particle and the plane. Okay, so I'm just going to take a snapshot of this so that I can uh, resolve the forces and write my equations easier without going keep scrolling up. Um, here we are. There we are. Let me just make it smaller. Okay, so now I can resolve my forces. So again, in these type of questions, half the marks are given base, basically by, just by resol resolving the forces. Okay. So what do we have here? Ah, we also have, I didn't resolve some forces. This force has an um, has a component up the plane, which is P cosine alpha, P cosine alpha. And it has a component also down the plane, uh, perpendicular to the plane, okay, which is P times sine alpha, going away from the angle. Okay, so... And we know also that it tells us that tan alpha equals three quarters. So tan alpha equals three quarters. So we can say that if tan alpha equals three quarters, tan of alpha is opposite over adjacent, then the hypotenuse is five. So then the sine of alpha will be three fifths, and the cosine of alpha will be four fifths. Okay, now let's resolve the forces. Let's start with this one that's perpendicular to the plane. So we have R equals P sine alpha plus 0 0.4 G cosine alpha. Okay, so R is equal to P sine alpha. So sine alpha is 3 fifths, so 3 fifths P. And cosine alpha 
is four fifths so you got plus four fifths times two fifths zero point times two fifths g okay so you're gonna have uh, nothing eight over twenty five so r is equal to three fifths p plus eight over twenty five g okay um the normal reaction between the particles that's what we have to find okay so we haven't we need to find what p is really to continue that and it says the value of p okay let's see maybe we can work this out in another way um you know that let's just resolve all the forces so you got this you got now it's on the point of sliding up the plane, so I'll take up as positive. So P cosine alpha and minus F max minus 0 0.4 G sine alpha is equal to zero. Okay, because it's not sliding up the plane, it's at an equilibrium. Okay, so cosine alpha is four fifths. So you got four fifths P and F max is given by, we worked it out. Did we work it out? No, we didn't. We can work it out now. F max is equal to mu r. Mu r. And mu is equal to? It told us what mu is equal to. Mu is equal to one third. Okay. So it's equal to one third times r. All right. Which is this. Okay. So I think we can work out from here. One third r. I'll just keep it like that for now. Minus 0 0.4 g sine alpha. Sine alpha is three fifths. So that's three fifths times um uh, two fifths three fifths times four zero point four is two fifths times g equals zero so here we're going to have four fifths p minus one third r minus six over 25 g is equal to zero so um, basically we can find what r is using these two equations okay equation one and equation two okay let me just take these equations on the other side um three fifths p plus eight over 25 g three fifths p plus eight over 25 g r equals Okay, so R equals 3 fifths G plus 8 over 25 G. And we've got also, uh, we got 4 fifths P minus 1 third R equals 6 over 25 G. Okay, 4 fifths P, 4 fifths P, what was it? Minus 1 third, minus 1 third R is equal to 6 over 25 G. Okay, so we have R here and here. So basically what I can try and do is try to make the P terms the same. Okay, so let me rearrange this to make it a third R. A third R equals 4 fifths P minus 6 over 25 G. So we can eliminate the, 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 the P's and let, leave us with R. So and this is um, R equals 3 fifths P my plus 8 over 25 g okay so what we can do here is we can make these the same okay we can make the p's the same if we multiply the the top here by uh, 3 and the bottom here by 4 the p's will become the same okay so you have 4 over 3 sorry you have r multiplied by 3 r equals if you multiply this by 3 you're going to get 12 over 5 P minus 18 over 25 G. And if you multiply this by 4, you're going to get 4 R is equal to, if you multiply by 4, you're going to get 12 over 5 P and plus 4 is to 32, 32 over 25 G. Now you have the same number of P's here. So if you subtract, if I subtract, I'm going to get 4 R minus R. If I subtract this way, I'm going to get 4 R minus R, which is 3 R. The P's are cancelled out, and I've got 32 over 25 minus minus 18 over 25. 
So 32 over 25 plus 18, 32 plus 18 is 50. You have 50 over 25G. So therefore you have 3R is equal to 2G. So R is equal to 2 thirds G. Okay, that's the answer to part A of this question. 7 part A. Okay, the magnitude of the normal reaction between the particle and the plane. Okay, and once you found that, you can find what P is because we know that, for example, let's see where it's easy for us to find it. Any of these would be okay. You know from any of these equations um, what P is in terms of R. So, for example, I could use this equation here. I know that R is equal to 3 over 5P plus 8 over 25G. So, I know now that R is equal to 2 thirds G. So this is 2 thirds G equals 3 fifths P plus 8 over 25 G. I shouldn't really be answering here, but I'm just doing that so we can see what's going on. So now I want to find what P is. So I've got 2 thirds G minus 8 over 25 G equals 3 fifths P. So I want to subtract these. 2 thirds minus 8 over 25. Um, okay, let's just do this in the calculator. So you've got 2 thirds minus 8 over 25. That gives you 26 over 75. So 26 over 75 g equals three fifths p so you can divide by five five goes into 25 one 15 times into 75 sorry 15 times and so you end up with p equals 26 over 45 g that's your value of p and there we have the answers to this question